Hi, it's Julian Ryan of J. Ryan Partners, Be Engaged at Work, and welcome back. And with me, of course, I have... Yael Zofi of AIM Strategies, Applied Innovative Management. All right, so this week when I've been chatting with folks, I have been hearing people say they spend most of the beginning of their Zoom um, calls apologizing. And a lot of those apologies are coming from women. And they're talking about, I apologize for the sounds in the back, the kids in the back, the animals are doing, you know, my spouse is on another call. And it's like, it's a ritual. And then everybody goes around and they've lost like 10 minutes. So I was thinking about maybe there's a better way that we can approach this. And we're not pretending the situation is ideal or perfect. Right. Uh, everybody has different living accommodations and space issues and extended family issues now in a lot of cases. So any advice or what are you hearing? <laughs> well, we all apologize. I was in a call like that yesterday where, uh, and it was both men and women. And hmm. uh, one of the men got on the call 10 minutes late and he apologized because he was on another call and another person said he apologized he was sick and one was apologizing in advance if the dog will bark. Um, <laughs> and so I think the bottom line is we're all working in scenarios that are not ideal, you know, working fully at home. Sometimes the technology fails. Sometimes we don't have the privacy <laughs> we, we seek. Even if we have a private space, you know, the kids need us, the, the spouse needs us, the, the dog or cat needs us. So first you want to just acknowledge on it, acknowledge this is happening mm -hmm. um, and uh, just call it. So step number one, call it. Even if you want to have one of your team meetings for the next five minutes, we're all going to make all our apologies, get them out there. <laughs> Let's call it. All the things we're potentially in advance apologizing for then list them that's fine you can list all those things as a team and say look guys we understand this is unusual circumstances we are in this for a while um call it list it and a third would be leave it let it go mm -hmm. let it go you know what the dog would bark we'll all both smile about it because we already listed it. we already said it's going to happen my somebody might knock on my door the dog phone might ring right now all the things we listed, we called it, list it, and then leave it behind. You know, a couple of years ago when I would be in group meetings, sometimes when things got very tenuous, a few people confessed to doing meeting bingo, where they would say certain words got repeated and they would get extra points. And then they would just compete to see how many catchphrases repeated. Maybe that's something we can also do as a, as a fun team building exercise to see how many cats, how many dogs, how many in-law interruptions, cooking, phones, etc. There can be had. I just Still some fun. make some light of it at the end of the day when you, not during the meeting, but maybe when they're doing a social or just having something fun offline. To having a little fun or, uh, you know, making light it's mm -hmm. nature's way, as you know, from humor. Humor mm -hmm. is a way to handle or deal with, uh, you know, moments in our lives. This is not a moment. This is kind of a time frame. Some people are mm -hmm. saying this is like the whole, the whole year 2020, and then we're going to look back and have the 2020 vision of what really happened. Mm -hmm. um, we're still at the early stages, and the only way we could handle it is how we react to it which mm -hmm. is how you and i've had these conversations offline For sure how we respond to it and um but in your meetings don't spend five ten minutes mm -hmm. apologizing maybe spend five ten minutes on a fun exercise like um what's the best movie you've seen in the last you know what are you about to do this weekend mm -hmm. we're all pooped in for sure um, oh i'm doing a zoom call with the family i'm doing this with the kids um, this is actually the time to connect, you know, mm -hmm. started this series by saying human connection is paramount, still necessary. We're social animals. Mm -hmm. We like to connect. So find your way and connect. So acknowledge, be heard, share it, own it, and then move on. Call it, list it, leave it. Okay. Well, <laughs> until next slide, I'm going to write that, those, that advice down very quickly before it goes out. <laughs> and then I know we'll find it on the video. So I'm Julian Ryan, J Ryan Partners, Be Engaged at Work. And, and we're gonna find you out there in cyberspace where? 
LinkedIn is the best place. Yael Zofi, <laughs> yaelzofi.com. And I'm uh, happy to uh, continue this, uh, I think, episode nine. Yeah, we'll see you. Till on to, uh, next time. Be safe, be well. Cheers. Cheers.